Hello everyone, this is John, back again with another food review. This time, I am at the Golden Arches of McDonald's. Now, I just got done watching that movie, The Founder. I know it's been out for like five years or so, but I just got around to watching it. Actually, a pretty depressing story. All around makes Ray Kroc looks like a sleazeball, but I digress. Today, we're here to really try two different things. One of these I've already tried, but I didn't get it on camera. And then someone commented that they wanted me to review it. So, since I was already going to McDonald's for this thing, I would go ahead and pick this up. It's the Travis Scott meal. The Travis Scott meal is a quarter pounder with cheese. And he likes to add bacon and lettuce to his. So, that's the difference. If you went to McDonald's two weeks ago and you ordered a, a quarter pounder with cheese... And he said, put lettuce on it and put bacon on it. That would be what this Travis Scott burger is. So really nothing too special. The, the only really special thing about this is that it's $6 for the meal. So in that case, it is like a deal where you're going to save money. I'm not sure exactly how much. But that's pretty much all it has going for it. You get fries. He likes to order his fries with barbecue sauce. So the meal comes with a barbecue sauce. They do ask you what drink you want, just like any other meal. But if you're going to go with the official Travis Scott meal that he has, where it's all lined up and, and laid out for you, you have to go and order a Sprite. And on the website it says, go for ex ask for extra ice. So I did. I'm not sure if this does have extra ice. It just feels like a normal amount of ice to me. Anyway, let's just have a bite. It is just a bacon quarter pounder with lettuce added. The lettuce is kind of crunchy. The bacon is pretty good. Or McDonald's bacon. Look at that. Got a little bit of thickness to it. This location, I don't know. Last time I got this, I didn't think the bacon was that great. This bacon looks pretty thick. Look at that bacon sticking out there. Let's try some fries dipped in barbecue sauce. And typically, I either eat my my fries plain or with ketchup. McDonald's fries are really good just plain. Especially like right when they hand you the bag. Okay. McDonald's barbecue sauce is awfully sweet. There's really no smoke to it. No smoke, no spice, nothing special. It's honestly not that different from just ketchup, so I guess it makes sense. Overall, I like the fact that the deal gives you um, a discount when you purchase it um, over if you were just to make that specific order yourself. Uh, so I do like that. Uh, Everyone gets a deal. I wonder if, like, you could, I pro you probably can. You can order anything how you want it, so. If you just want a bacon cheeseburger, it's probably still cheaper than asking for a, a quarter pounder with bacon and all that stuff on it. And then you can ask for the lettuce off of it or pickles and the onions off of it. You can order it any way you want, really, and still get the deal. Okay. Cleanse the palate with some Sprite. I always find Sprite to be like the most basic of any kind of uh, drink you can get, really. It says it's lemon lime flavor, but it really just tastes like sweetness to me. Let's move on. We have 
the McDonald's spicy nuggets. And I have regular nuggets to compare. They even come in different packages. And of course they come with mighty hot sauce. McDonald's has used the adjective mighty a few times before. They had mighty wings. They had the mighty kids meal. The mighty kids meal was like a, a happy meal for children who were slightly older, I want to say. Mighty hot sauce. Water vinegar, sugar, chili peppers, cayenne, red pepper, salt apricot, concentrate, garlic, cornstarch, uh, contains 2% less than, has a, ooh, capsa capsicum, which I think is a spice, garlic powder, mm -hmm -hmm. yeah, it's supposed to be spicy, I'll get one open and ready. Comparison sake, let's just bring back that barbecue sauce. So let's uh, get our baseline down here. This is a chicken McNugget. I think this one's the boot. A lot of people are obsessed with the fact that McDonald's has specific sizes and shapes. I don't care. They're chicken nuggets. It's the boot. It's the bell. It's a chicken McNugget. I've also seen YouTube videos where like people try to recreate an at-home version of a chicken McNugget. In my mind, I'm just thinking to myself, why? It's a chicken nugget. McNugget from McDonald's. There's so much better things you can make with chicken at home. It tastes just like I remember. A spongy chicken mix with a crunchy sometimes not actually connected to the chicken shell but like spice wise there's not a whole lot going for it maybe some salt and pepper all right here we go a spicy nugget. Just so you can tell, but that is a different color. Regular spicy. Different color, for sure. Before I dunk it in the sauce, let's see how spicy it is by itself. I will say, tons more flavor than the regular. Spicy? As in like hot spicy? Not at all. But like there's definitely more to it than just salt and pepper. There's maybe some paprika, maybe some cayenne, some garlic, maybe some like onion powder. But taste wise, I don't know if I would call it spicy, or like spiced. Like they actually like spent time to flavor it. But I'm guessing with this sauce, it will be spicy because I tasted the sauce and the sauce was spicy. It doesn't say exactly which kind of chili peppers are in here. The dipping sauce is good. I don't know if I would say it's mighty hot, but it's definitely hot. These two things are actually really good, and I hope they keep them. The spicy nuggets, it's kind of misleading to call them spicy nuggets, because they're not spicy. The mighty hot sauce is spicy. And I think they, re they would taste really good together. I think this would probably be improved by it too, just a regular nugget.
and it is. But if I put it spicy in regular barbecue sauce, no spice at all. In fact, the barbecue sauce really coats any kind of flavoring these have with just like a syrupy, corn syrupy, sugary glaze, which blocks you from tasting all the actual spices they put on the spicy nugget. Spicy nuggets are definitely improvement taste-wise. The Mighty Hot Sauce, I would describe it as like, you're starting to make almost a buffalo sauce, but instead of adding butter to hot sauce to make it that like creamy buffalo sauce, it tastes like they added like a, few, a fruity puree. And I know it has apricot that I saw in the, in, in the ingredients. So that's what I think is in here. It's like a, you start with a, a, a spicy hot sauce base. You mix in a few, a fruity puree and you get this. Vinegary, fruity, a bit of sugar. It does say sugar. It doesn't say corn syrup. Which is good. Regular sugar. Whereas the barbecue sauce, does that have first ingredient? High fructose corn syrup. McDonald's. This is a big difference here. The Mighty Hot Sauce, when you put real sugar in there where it says sugar, water vinegar sugar, those three ingredients make a good base for a sauce to build from. Then you add chili powders, cayenne peppers, salt, apricot concentrate, garlic. That sounds like ingredients to like a homemade sauce. High fructose corn syrup, water, tomato paste. You're basically making a generic consumer brand ketchup and then spicing it up somehow. Let's see what else is here. Red wine vinegar, distilled vinegar, spices, soy sauce, garlic powder, dried chili peppers, that's way down there. Onion powder is way down there. Sherry wine powder, suc succinic acid, yeah that sucks. This barbecue sauce you really need to redo. Make it more like this, where the ingredients are actual sugar, not corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup, it just gives everything this bland, syrupy sweetness. Makes everything taste the same. No excitement. This one you did well. I really like the Mighty Hot Sauce. I really like the spicy nuggets. I'm gonna give the Mighty Hot Sauce a 10 out of 10 by itself. This is a sauce that people should get excited about. Not that Szechuan sauce, this one, Mighty Hot Sauce. I don't like the name, but I like the sauce. Tastes good, has actual sugar in it instead of corn syrup. Everything about it is better. Probably better than the barbecue sauce with fries. It is. Whoever came up with the recipe for this, that chef, you need to put them on more projects because that's it. Spicy nuggets, they were better than the regular nuggets. Regular nuggets by themselves are kind of like a, a six and a half. Spicy nuggets, I'm gonna give like a 7.8. They, they aren't spicy, they're spiced. And these aren't spiced at all, so it just makes them actually like taste like something. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was informative for you. I know uh, a lot of people already did this, even though it just came out this Monday. 
I'm not really a review chaser kind of review channel, so you shouldn't expect me to like wait somewhere overnight to get to try something before everyone else does. I'm going to get to it at my own time. Um, and this is the Wednesday after the Monday that it was supposed to come out, so it's not like I waited for forever. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Subscribe. And I'll see you next time. So long. Bye.